Okay, so the title of this thing is Cut Yourself A. How do you fill in that blank? What I want to tell you is cut yourself a break. It's time to cut yourself a break. Now, what we do in Mentoring Moment is I'm a psychologist. I'm also an ordained minister. I have a Master of Divinity degree. And what we try to do is integrate biblical principles and our relationship with God into practical everyday issues that you and I struggle with. And truth be told, some of you guys never give yourselves a break. You're always aware of all the ways you fail or all the goals that you have not achieved. I mean, to get inside your head is to feel this massive weight about being you. And this is not the joy God had planned for you. In a very practical way, you and I need to look at every day things to be grateful for. And we also at the same time have to look every day at things that we can celebrate. Maybe you got angry 30 seconds it took you 30 seconds longer to get angry than the last time this happened. Maybe you made a better decision in that particular circumstance than before. Tiny ways to celebrate the small changes. It's hard sometimes for us men to recognize these small changes because we sit there and go, but I'm not where I want to be, so therefore it doesn't count. And because we don't celebrate the small changes, we never get where God wants us to go. God is constantly blessing you in numerous little ways. In very tiny, minute ways, people grow and change. In working with people as a therapist to change, it's not boom to boom. It's slice, slice, slice. These things are tiny. And God is involved in a miraculous, powerful way in every one of those slices. And it helps you keep going to get where you want to go if when he is giving you those little slices, you go, wow, God help me do this. In 1 Corinthians 9, 24, it says, In a race, all the runners run, but only one gets the prize. You know that, don't you? So you run in a way that will get you the prize. For you to complete the unique race that God has given you, you need to celebrate. When I watch a football team, the coach is clapping and patting guys on the back. Their play that they just ran was horrendous. The other team just scored. But after that team, other team just scored. Watch the coach on the other team. They're saying, you can do this. They're celebrating what went right on that play. You and I, as men of God, need to take in and allow ourselves to feel the gratitude of what God's given us and the celebrations of of positive things that have occurred that God's allowed to have accomplished in our lives. Let us pray. God, the football game for us would go a lot better if we took in the love of others and we were less self-condemnation toward, towards ourselves. We just ask God that you will help us see these slices in our changing process. Give us the wisdom to see it and then the time to celebrate your many, many, many small wows that equal the big wow. Help us not be so interested in the end result that we fail to understand the process of moment by moment walking with you to get there. We want to finish this race. We want to, to, to get to that prize. But the prize we get, God, is having more of you in our lives. And we need, in order to attain that, 
to see those moment by moment celebrations along the way. In Jesus name, amen. Now remember, God is quite the conversationalist. So listen and talk to God today. <laughs>